and gentlemen of the YouTube land, it's your boy Tugbo, and today we are here with the Summer Night Festa banner. Now, first off, I gotta tip my hat off to Bandai, because the top three of females of SAO, we'll just go ahead and say Asuna, Sinon, and Alice, nowhere to be found. The top three shitty weapons of this game, Dagger, Mace, and Gun, eh, we'll say bow as well that could be arguable nowhere to be found on top of that we got a step up scout with the record crystal scout i got to say bandai we're making moves in the right direction i gotta applaud you for that i gotta give you your credit where your credit is due now let me go ahead and say this real quick this banner is the equivalent to the Rainy Rain banner and to the Schoolgirls banner. The Schoolgirls and Rainy Rain banner, they had the shield that basically made them invulnerable. These females right here, this banner right here, has the shield that makes them invulnerable. Now, with that being said, it can only make me assume that we are going to have the next Ironcrad Tower be Earth Element. Now, I mean, that's just speculation, that's just a guess, but I mean, if we had a water tower and we were given earth units, if we had a fire tower and we were given water units, it can only make me assume that we're going to be given an earth tower and then we'll be given, uh, you know, wind units. That being said, you're probably saying, Tug, which ones should I scout for and why? Well, let's go ahead and get into that. Now, the quick TLDW. Shit, man. Whew. Lizbeth being uh, the sword, Leaf Up being the rapier, and Premier Bless Up being the lance or the spear, whichever one you want to call it. I'm playing Hollow Realization and it's lance and spear and it's just jumbled up. Eh, lance or spear. Stat wise, to me, Lizbeth, bottom of the barrel. Now she's got the second most attack. But her crit hit chance, or her critical, excuse me, her critical is so low that it kind of just kind of throws her out of contention. Now, with that being said, Lethal obviously got the highest uh, of attack and critical. And then you got uh, Premier way more crit than Lizbeth, but just a little bit less attack, so I'm fine with that. So as far as stat-wise goes, I'm going to say Leafa, Premier, and uh, Lizbeth. Now, as far as overall unit-wise, my, this was a toughie because I don't know this because I, I don't have the characters and I can't test it with multiple uh, mobs in a game, but, you know, I'm trying to do quick TLDW. Leafa, I feel she's going to be the burst unit. You know, she's got... Uh, AOE wave it just hits in a solid little line that comes up like this and it's gonna hit and at least it's knocking back the little goblin little kobold dude it's knocking him back onto his back every time so we got to think about that will that knock back all the enemies that it hits every time will it throw them on their back every time I don't know now the other thing that I gotta mention with Premier's SS3 does she kind of hit everybody as she's, you know, spinning the cotton candy stuff? Or is she only grabbing one target and then spinning the cotton candy on them? I don't know. There's only one, you know, goblin cobalt dude that I could test it on, so I can't really say. But, to me, you can't really say this character is better than this character than this character because they're all doing three different things. AoE burst with Leafa potentially, potentially AoE uh, combo generating with Premier and single generating combo with Lizbeth. Now, depending on which of the three you like, which of the three you want to get, or hell, if you want to wail and get all three of them, baby, go ahead, baby, go do you, boo-boo. I ain't going to hate on you. But I will say, this banner is definitely worth the pull. It's definitely worth the pull, especially with the flat heel. I ain't hating on any of these characters. I like them all. Shit. I'm going to have to pull on this character, on this banner myself. Fuck. But 
that's all for the TLDW. Let's go ahead and get into the skill trial. Now, as we know, uh, Premiere, we're just going to go ahead and start off with, with what we got. We got Premiere. So, this is the thing that makes me wonder about her SS3. So, you see you see how it kind of pop, pops that, that beginner? It, it pops that little green cotton candy starter out. Will that be able to, you know, clump maybe three, four, five people together? I don't know. If that does, she's going to be the AoE generator. See, the more that I'm starting to realize with each of these banners that have been coming out lately, we've been seeing subtypes of characters. Whether they're single target burst, AoE burst, single target generator, AoE generator. There are different types of subtypes of of units now that's the one thing that this banner has irked me for the past you know 30 minutes is because I can't figure out why I can't compare who is the best that's because they're in completely different classes so with premiere I'm really thinking man you see the way that that is you clump enough folks close enough brrr, bam you good that's AOE at least that's what I would assume that's what I'm assuming so, very good character. Now, hers, uh, she has to kind of be right up on the mob. Uh, you can't kind of hit it from a, a silly angle. You know, maybe with version 1 Alice, you could be right, you know, you could be, like, right here, and you can pop your SS3 and hit the mob. Can't do that with her. Now, we'll go to Lizbeth. Lizbeth, she can just kind of be... A little bit below them, but she's still it is better to just be in front of them now I will say if you get the mob into a weird corner She can teleport too far and uh, you won't get any damage on the back end of her SS3 after she teleports just because it's it's just weird room uh, Situation so you gotta be careful for that Overall uh, as far as a single target goes uh, you know, it seems she's getting that bloop, bloop, and then right on to that single target. It doesn't look like there's any room, you know, up or down uh, for her little wind blade shuriken looking deal. Windmill. There we go. Windmill looking deal to be hitting anybody on either side. And then we'll go ahead and show Leafa off. Uh, this is the... And see, the thing that, that, that really is kind of kind of... Baby, baby girl, boo boo, what you doing? She's using a rapier, but why does it look like on the low key, she throwing out a mace? I don't know, could be me, but it looks like a mace, bludgeon type of weapon. Uh, definitely not a rapier though, but I ain't hating, man. Uh, I've been testing around, and when I was able to get three uh, crits, uh, the three crit numbers that I saw, we're like 19k, 10k, and 9k. So she's doing the damages. She would remind me of somebody like that version 2 UGO. You build up your generator. You build up your combo with your Lizbeth and your Premier or somebody else that you really like. You throw Leafa in there. Bada bing, bada boom. They're gone. So that'll wrap it up for this video banner review. Basically, man, you can't go wrong with whoever you want to pick. This is a all wind banner of course so if you're waiting for that wind unit that you really just wanted to round out the rest of your composition the rest of your team to say okay i got x amount of this element x amount of this element wind was the last one i needed this is the banner to pull for just blow all your saved diamonds on this banner if you need wind if you don't need wind i would recommend just pulling one unit and man, you, you might not even need the weapon. You could probably just switch out the weapons. The weapons are obviously very helpful for the characters. But that's up to you whether you want to grab them or not. Now, that'll be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate that support a lot. If you want to, uh, check out the description box down below. You'll see links to the Discord server that I'm in where we, you know, shoot the shit about MD, about FGO, league different games different anime basically just a nice little community that's growing just hang out have fun and chill with each other you can also become a patron at patreon.com slash tuglo to help make the dream become a reality i'd greatly appreciate the support and last but not least if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button like share comment all that good stuff 
thank you so much for watching and that's the cue because the fat lady's singing the bells are ringing and as always people thank you so much i hope you have a great day night and until the next video peace out Thank you.